Good day, everyone. I'm Miss Sharon, your English teacher. Welcome to yet another amazing class. Today, our learning targets are I can identify different vowel spellings and words. I can read contraction words. I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story. Meet Vern. Vowel spelling review. We will review some of the vowel spellings that we have learned. When I show the cards, you will say the word. Then I will ask someone to give me a word that has that sound in it. Ah, pot. Ah, pot. Ah, this is the vowel sound. Ah, vowel sound. Ah. As in parts a a the letter a and e comes together to give us the vowel sound a so the word that fits into a is cake cake c a k e cake cake what sound is this a a eat eat internet e in so the letter i is e then i i i two vowel letters give us the sound i as in bite i e bite and bite is spelled b i t e bite b i t e bite ow remember we did something like this last time ow the ow sound as in shout cloud remember couch so ow we are looking at shout right now so it's ow shout this is the long oo sound the oo sound the long oo sound as in soon moon soon moon you see it's stressed so oo as in soon oo soon now this is the short oo sound as in look it's fast look look has the short oo sound in it this is the e eh sound the e eh sound e eh sound e eh as in pets e eh as in pets this is the er uh sound the er uh sound as in her e eh as in her this is the e eh sound the e eh sound the e eh sound as in pet now this is the e sound the e sound as in b as in b the e sound as in b this is the o sound the o sound as in but 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 and it's spelled b u t but b u t but the o uh sound but we have the u sound the u sound as in cute 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 and cute is spelled c u t e cute c u t e cute 
Tongue twisters. I'm going to read you a tongue twister. A tongue twister is a phrase that can be tricky to say because many of the words have the same sounds. When something tastes bitter, that means it does not have good taste. When you make a cake, the ingredients you mixed together are called the batter. Close your eyes and listen carefully to the tongue twister about a woman named Betty Butter. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Betty Butter had some butter, but she said, this butter is bitter. If I use this bitter butter, it will make my butter bitter. Let me do it again. Betty Butter had some butter, but she said, this butter is bitter. If I use this bitter butter, it will make my butter bitter. So you see that it sounds alike. The words sound so much alike. So let's look at our worksheet 2.1. You would see words like fern, rust, rook, clerk, room, rat, perch, rag, verb, and term. You will see the r sound, the r sound, and the r sound. So what I want you to do is that you're going to write each word that fits the sounds. Yes. So we're giving examples like rat under the er sound and fern under the er sound. Contractions. A few readers ago, we read about Grand Grand Got a Snake, Wong from Hong Kong. This pronunciation mark is called an apostrophe. It looks like a comma that is up in the air. The apostrophe S shows that something belongs to Gran. Grand snake, remember? Grand snake. Grand snake. What belongs to Gran is Grand snake. What belongs to Gran is grand snake so there's a contraction there you could see apostrophe s which shows that something belongs to him jim scott jim scott what belongs to jim the cat so there should be an apostrophe so if something belongs to somebody you would say this cell phone belongs to me or you could say Sharon's phone, Sharon's cell phone, Jim's cell phone. Kit dress, kit dress. What belongs to kit? The dress. So kit dress. So often when the apostrophe S follows a word, especially a noun, it shows possession. That means something belongs to someone or something. Today, you would learn a different way that the apostrophe S can be used. These are examples of how the apostrophe S can be used. Repeat after me. Let us. Let us go. Let us read now. Now, these sentences are all correct, but... They do not sound like the way we usually speak to one another. So, repeat after me. The word let us, when you want to use apostrophe S, you could just use let's, which sounds the way we usually speak to one another. Let's, instead of using the word let us, you could use let's. Let's move to the mountain. Let's eat words like that then instead of using let us go you could use let's go let's go home let's go shopping let's go swimming so instead of using the word let us go or instead of using the sentence let us go you could use let's go now let us read now 
doesn't really sound good in the air so instead of using the sentence let us read now you could use the sentence let's read now let's read now so repeat after me let us let's let us let's let us go let's go let us go let's go let us let us read now let us read now let's read now so it's better you use the contraction words other than using the other one now repeat after me let us let's when an apostrophe is used to replace a letter the new word that is formed it's called a contraction like i said before the new word is that it's formed it's called a contraction now let's it's a contraction let's is a contraction because it has an apostrophe yes that replaces a letter an apostrophe replaces a letter so when an apostrophe is used to replace the letter the new word that is formed it's called a contraction a contraction is a shorter form of a word or group of words and it has an apostrophe to replace a letter it has an apostrophe to replace a letter now let's read meet Vern. We are starting a new reader today about a man named Vern. Vern is the main character and there are also many animals in the story. This type of text is called an informational text. You will learn many facts and details about all the different types of animals. The setting of the book is the zoo. And is zoo a noun or a verb? Mm. Zoo is a name of a place. And remember, we said noun is a name of a person, animal, place, or thing. So, zoo is a noun because it's a name of a place. A noun is a naming word. So, zoo is a name of a place. Why a verb is an action word or a doing word. So, zoo is a noun. A zoo is a noun. Thank you. The name of the zoo is called the Green Fern Zoo. What type of noun is this? Remember, we have two types of noun. We have the common noun and the proper noun. So, what kind of noun is this? It's a proper noun because it's specific. Because it's specific. Remember I said that proper nouns are specific kind of noun. Like you could say, I attend children academy, nursery and primary school. It's a specific place. It's specific. You could just say, I attend school. That's a common noun. But a proper noun is children's academy, nursery and primary school, which is a proper noun now so the name of the zoo is called the green vern zoo what type of noun is this it's a proper noun because it's specific now we have the er sound we have the long u sound and we have the the e sound we have the e sound we have the e sound we have the er sound, the e sound. The long u sound and the e sound now we have words under the er sound which is vern and fern under the long u sound we have zoo under the e sound we have green and creep green and creep vern is spelled v e r n v e r n fern is spelled F E R N F E R N Why right under the long O sound we have zoo 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 is spelled Z O O Z O O 
under the long e sound we have green and creep green is spelled g r e e n green green creep is spelled c r e e p let's review the vocabulary we have fern we have zoo we have scales and fern is spelled f e r n fern f e r n fern zoo is spelled z o o zoo z o o zoo scales is spelled s c a l e s scales s c a l e s scales remember that in this scale spelling we don't have contraction words it's scales because the crocodile has scales on its body scales scales Think, creep, facts, tales. Stink is spelled S T I N G. Stink S T I N G. Stink. Creep is spelled C R. E E P creep C R E E P creep fact is spelled F A C T S facts F A C T S facts tells a spelled T A L E S tells T A L E S tells now let's read to me to Vern and find out about the animals at the Green Fern Zoo. My name is Ven and I have the best job. My job is to take you kids in to see the Green Fern Zoo. We will see things with wings and things with scales, things that bite and things that sting. Remember we did these words? Things that creep and things that swim i have lots of fun facts and tales to share with you so let's see the zoo and have some fun now these are questions that comes with this paragraph that was read number one is where does van work where does van work he works at the zoo he works at the zoo. Where, what is Vin's job? Number two, what is Vin's job? Number three, Vin says that they will see animals that do all sorts of things like bite, sting, creep, and have scales and wings. Based on this, what type of animals do you think will be at the Green Friends Zoo? All sorts of animals. Open your worksheet 2.2. You can see the E sound. Now you're going to do this at home. I want you to read the instructions carefully and answer the questions. Phrases and sentences. Catch a perch. Catch a perch. Act out a verb. Act out a verb. 
her book is green her book is green look at the turn look at the turn look at the turn hair palm hair palm shop clock shop clock check the root check the root head of cows head of cows thank you for having an amazing time with me i'll see you in the next class bye